uh, the fourth schedule, section two. Um, that section lists water services as a fully devolved function, which means then all matters water fall under the jurisdiction of county governments. The speaker, one of the things that this bill is trying to do is actually an attempt, a blatant attempt, to claw back on devolution. Because if you interfere with one function that is devolved, then you are essentially clawing back on devolution. Why do I say this, Mr. Speaker? I will narrow myself, my argument to only two issues. First, look at the constitution of the Water Tribunal as proposed in this amendment bill, uh, Clause 119. The, the entire tribunal consists of national government actors, people seated at the national level. And you ask yourself, Why did the proposer of this amendment even think of including a member of the county, uh, uh, the, the Council of Governors uh, subcommittee on water to sit in that tribunal? Because the speaker, the purpose of any tribunal is to resolve disputes. If, for instance, there is a dispute between Kitui water and Nyeri water, how does the tribunal composed of national government actors resolve a matter that involves two counties without the involvement of those counties? The speaker, some of these things don't make sense. And, and you know, the Constitution is very clear that any legislation that goes against the provisions of any section of the Constitution is null and void to the extent of the conflict. So at that point, the Speaker, to the extent that water is a devolved function and people are supposed to be arbitrating and resolving disputes on matters of water in counties, those people, they don't consist of players from counties to that extent, then this law falls flat on its face. The speaker, the second matter is on the bulk water supply. The speaker, this is also very ridiculous. The provisions here are very ridiculous because it is very clear in the Water Act of 2016 that bulk water supply is a function of water service providers. Now, this amendment seeks to remove that function from water service providers, including the Laikipia water service provider, from Laikipia, and, and, and bring you to Nairobi under what they are calling waterworks development agencies. The speaker, how now will national government agencies be able to regulate and manage and do reticulation of bulk water in the 47 counties in this country? The speaker, this thing doesn't make sense. Again, the speaker, to the extent that this provision violates the Constitution, this law, this amendment, must fall flat on its face. The speaker, as I conclude my submission, let me just remind my colleagues 
that it should actually concern us that an amendment to the Water Act should come from the National Executive. To the extent that that amendment is coming from the National Executive, a ministry of the National Executive, that alone must concern us as a Senate. And as it concerns us, we should also challenge the Council of Governors. These, these, these colleagues of ours from the other side, because they are colleagues of the speaker because we are elected from the same counties with them. Uh, at times, uh, I know of senators here who garner even more votes than their governors. Uh, but when they get there, they start behaving funny. The speaker, they, they, should, they should wake up from their slumber and, and help push legislation that ring fences functions that are devolved. If there are issues with, with water service providers, I expect the Council of Governors to be at the forefront in pushing for legislation to ring fence the operations of water service providers. It shouldn't be the function of the National Executive to try and cure a mischief found in the water service providers. And I don't know how these national government agencies will be able to resolve disputes within and amongst water providers in counties without involving the service providers in those counties. So, Speaker, with those remarks, I oppose. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> Senator Okech, I can see you are again on the queue, and you, you have already spoken to this bill. Senator Amatinga, Waome. Yeah.